Bukhara in the past was a very important trading and commercial center because this city was located on the crosses of the Great Silk Road. When Arabs conquered Bukhara, they called it Madinatu Tujor, which in translation means the city of merchants or the city of traders. And of course, one of the most important structures for the international merchants and traders was the Karavansarai, or the hotel for the merchants, the stop over for the caravansarai. Each caravansarai had its specialization or specification. So we used to have a special caravansarai, for instance, for the Indian people, Persians, or for example, a special caravansarai for the tobacco sellers, jewelry sellers, hat sellers, and so on. Caravansarai was a very important part of the international trading because normally the merchants who were coming to Bukhara uh, stayed in the caravansarai for a few weeks in order to sell their goods and products and to get the local products from here. So we are now in the inner part of one of the caravansarais built in the 19th century. This caravansarai was constructed by the order of the famous merchant from Bukhara, Saifuddin, who was actually involved in the tea leaf business. So Saifuddin ordered the construction of this caravansarai for the merchants who brought the tea leaf from China and India. Although that is a pretty late caravansarai, we can say that it has a very classic and traditional shape for the Central Asian hotels. We're now in the inner part of the caravansarai's courtyard, which, as you can see, is surrounded by the two-story building. The rooms downstairs were used as storage place. So that was the place where merchants stored their products and goods. Rooms upstairs were used as a living rooms or the bed rooms for the international merchants. You may also see a door uh, just in the end of the courtyard. The door, which was used as the entrance to the backyard, the place where the merchants kept their transportation means, including donkeys, horses, and camels. And so the inner courtyard of the caravansarai was used as a trading center. So right here, the merchants would sell their goods and products to the local people. This is a storage. So this is a special room where they placed their products. They placed their goods. So you see it's, um, it's uh, constructed in such a way to keep it fresh and cool, let's say. And um, it was kept there for a few weeks before they continued their trip. So they needed to pay an extra fee uh, to keep their products in here. So the inner part of this caravansarai now is used for a small craftsman development center, which was supported by 
UNDP and USAID. And you can see here all different types of traditional Uzbek handicrafts, including silk weaving, cotton and silk embroidery, carpet weaving, miniature painting, wood carving and gold embroidery.